Great to have you back here on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. I am Wali Fakile. Coming up, the story of a media professional providing a platform for up-and-coming photographers to excel. But before that, in Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, taxis are a popular but seemingly dangerous way to get around, especially for women with up to five kidnappings a week. In our next story, we'll show you how the tech solution provided by two ladies is beginning to stem the tide. Have a look. Welcome to Kinshasa, an African mega city with 15 million inhabitants and around 60,000 taxis to help navigate its many streets. My name's Victoria Rubadiri. I'm a BBC reporter and journalist. I've come to the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo to find out how technology is helping reduce the recent spate of taxi kidnappings. As you'd expect, with any mega city, getting around its many streets is not straightforward. Unless you have your own set of wheels, the only way to get around is in one of these taxis. But after sunset, taking a taxi has become riskier. Kidnappings in taxis are so common that they happen up to five times a week. Sarah was kidnapped while on her way back from work. In some cases, the kidnappers take passengers' valuables and drop the passenger off in a deserted area. This is where they left Sarah. Meet Ursula and Magali, two of Kinshasa's entrepreneurs who have had enough of living in fear. When I heard that people are getting kidnapped in the taxi and one of, one of my cousins get kidnapped in the taxi, I was like, okay, we need to find a solution. They launched the Hoja app with an aim of making it safer for people to take taxis. Someone can download the application and through a very user-friendly uh, interface can actually scan his car and get information about the driver, the, the, the associated car, and actually make the right decision as of whether or not to take a taxi. All right, so this is how it works. Pretty simple. Open up the app on my phone. Just hit the QR code scanner, bring it up to the QR code, and in a few seconds, up comes the picture of the driver and the car, and you're ready to ride. That's it. So far, around a third of the city's taxi drivers have signed up to Hoja. Transport officials say kidnappings in Kinshasa are down. Remember how I said there were around five kidnappings a week? According to transport officials, there have only been five kidnappings in the last 10 months. It's good for business because uh, if you spend your money to buy a taxi, you know at the end of the day your, 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 your car or your taxi is safe. Hoja may not be the most convenient thing if you're in a rush for a taxi, but at least it lets you know who your taxi driver is and details about the vehicle. So what's next for the app? French telecom giant Orange has partnered with Hoja with the ambition of launching the app across other African megacities, including Lagos and Dakar. Uh, brilliant work.